Hey fellow vote dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and today we are talking DOT. Damage over time. Very important topic since Cremator has been added that I will let you know everything you need to know. From the beginner to advanced tips, how it works and why you need it. Why is it so important with addition of Cremator? This is the weapon with actually huge damage over time component. We previously did not have any weapon like that. Now we do. But even before this weapon, I was playing with DOT. As you can see, my Expedition Runner build was based on DOT and there is a reason for that. First thing you need to know, if you are inside any expedition, regular enemies will take 10 times more damage from DOT than regular enemies inside the world of Appalachia. So that's a huge difference, 10 times more. To showcase that, I intentionally drop my damage by unequipping some perks and healing up as I'm using a bloody cremator. I was successful, yes. I finally have cremator that I wanted. Uh, if you wonder how much it took me, it was just over 500 legendary modules to get my bloody. And I was lucky to get to get this damage while aiming. I wanted it, but that was pure luck. Most likely, if you want two stars of your choice, we are looking at around 2000 legendary modules to have a good chance to get it. Three stars of your choice? Forget about that. But now, even at full health, I have 1200 dot over 12 seconds. So, easy to calculate. It is... 100 fire damage per second to those enemies. The following modification is required, which is slow burning tank. Unlocking through seasons. Now, let me demonstrate why DOT is so important. My impact damage is relatively low. As you see, the impact damage is 37, four times, assuming all projectiles hit. The good thing about DOT you don't need all projectiles to hit. One projectile is enough, it will apply the full, full dot. And look what happened. They did not die from impact, but briefly after, this dot absolutely annihilate those enemies. And those are not low level. If you will be shooting them with conventional weapons, they are quite tanky. I could show you, for example, uh, what do I have? Oh, pepper shaker. So conventional weapon, look at that, takes time to do damage, back to the cremator, and dot finishes off, let's try again to hit just one projectile on this guy over there, let's shoot a little bit to the side maybe, yeah one projectile hit, wait for the dot, here is the dot, normally Dot applies four times per second, so it should be ticking down smoothly, but due to the server lag, you will see effect of dot every several seconds, unfortunately. If you are on a private server, your experience with dot will be slightly different and it will be going more smoothly, but that if you have followed first and access to the private server. Now, more that you need to know about dot, we are going back to Appalachia. Enemies resistance is important when we are talking about damage over time. As you can see, that's a fire damage. So, fire resistance will change how much damage enemies are actually taking. For example, level 100 super mutants don't really have 2000 health, but they can survive. Because they do have 300 fire resist, which makes them quite immune to fire. Now, in case of weapon like I have in here, that comes with damage while aiming, how that works, how those effects work on DOT. Basically, bloody fully applies to the DOT and damage while aiming as well. Every on hit effect, like criticals, if you do critical invades, those will not affect the damage of the DOT. So, I should be on the team. And there is no team available, so I create my own. I notice that I'm taking a lot of damage. 
that's a different topic and I already covered in a separate video how the damage changes when you are on a team. So I'm not going over that, I just need a team to reduce my damage taken. Now, let me heal fully. So the bloody effect will not be doing anything. And now to do the extra damage while aiming, I need to aim in the moment of impact. And to be exact, because of server lag, one second before the impact happens. But I do not need to keep aiming after that. I was worried that I will need to. I do not need to. The dot works. So it almost killed it. Even though I'm full health, so bloody effect do not work. And some damage packs I have unequipped as I wanted this super mutant to survive. If I wouldn't aim... Oh, my health is not really full. So some bloody effect will be working on this guy. This is full health. If I would not aim, you will see the damage will be slightly lower. So aiming before impact if you want to use this type of effect. It's similar like it works with grenades. With grenades, they will inherit a bonuses from your weapon based, based on the fact whatever weapon you are holding before the impact of the grenade and there is some nuke coming where is the nuke coming oh i think we have a lot of new players those are not locations that you supposed to be nuking <laughs> as of today there is like now no benefit to nuking this fissure side not much benefit to nuking white spring anymore it used to be in the past that's side note there is some damage that will bypass enemy resistances, but that's not fire. If you will see a weapon that has a bleed damage, the bleed damage will bypass all damage mitigation of the enemy, so it's basically a true damage. Every other damage will be affected by enemy damage resistance. And it's worth to note in here that outside of damage resistance, fire resistance in that case, Mitigation effects, like this 45% less damage from flame attacks and explosions, will not affect the dot. The dot is not affected by mitigation, only by resistance. The same about the mitigation from armor, like if I'm wearing power armor, every piece provides you with minus 7% incoming damage. This does not apply to dot. Dot completely bypasses all the mitigation and is only affected by resistance. How much damage will I be taking if I hit myself? One shot, I'm taking 0.54. So it's very little. That's because of my fire resist. That's the biggest factor. And the fact that I'm a player somehow is a factor here. As enemies will take more with the same amount of fire resist. So we are lucky in here. I will take less from self-inflicted damage. But if I would lose 200 of my fire resist that comes from sizzling style in my case, and I will only have very little that I have on armor, so this is 25. Look how it changes. Now suddenly I'm taking almost three times as much of the fire, fire damage. If I exit my power armor and therefore I drop my fire resistance to zero. Now I have zero fire resistance and I shoot once. I will be taking almost six damage per second, which is a huge difference. So fire resist is the biggest determining factor how much damage is going to happen. Now, if you hit yourself multiple times or enemies multiple times the following hits are refreshing the duration but again what's important to remember they do not update the damage value so if you have weapon like i do so i need to aim definitely aim when you are applying the first dot as you cannot bump it back up for whatever reason after the fact uh, let me show you that again me heal in here so bloody effect is not a factor. I shoot myself. 5.2 damage. I aim down to get damage while aiming. Still 5.2 damage. After the 12 seconds will be gone. 
it will not update. Uh, it remains 5.2 damage. Following shots just refresh the duration of the first dot, do not override it, which is important to know. For example, now I shoot again aiming at my high, health is slightly lower. The dot is 7.68. So it does matter how you apply the first dot when fighting enemies. Now let me drop my health permanently by locking it with rats. I will be using toxic goo here as it's widely available inside the west deck. I'm in the nerd rate zone and I will reapply my perks that I unequip for the testing purposes. So I will have full build. The build is posted. So if you need to double check something, this build is posted on my channel. That's my cremator build for the full damage. And the perk, Grenadier, do not increase the damage, but increase the radius of explosion makes it way easier to apply dot to every enemy in the wide area. As you can see, my dot greatly improved. What I did for the thumbnail, I was using my Revenant perk and Psychotats chem. So that's how I achieved over 3k. It could go even higher with a bobble head, so probably 4k is possible. I'm not absolutely sure, but I think 4k may be possible. And lastly, to demonstrate a full potential of this weapon, Scourge Beast level 75. So what we do first, I will maybe skip Revenant as that's not realistic to apply every time to self revive, but I will pop all those Scourge first. I will make sure that my critical is charged, and indeed it is charged, so I need my adrenaline fully ramped up, and hopefully I can get critical and aim when attacking this scourge. Yes, it is possible. It is possible with weapons that do have a slow projectile. Let me pop a quick psycho touch. There we go. The critical is ready. The scourge beasts need to be flying slightly away cannot be too close for that so i do the critical and now i aim and that's the impact with aiming so full dot full damage of the critical impact oh no food i did not apply the food the blight soup very important one to increase the critical damage so i'm slightly sure to one hitting slightly sure to one hitting her uh, let me try to repeat with the soup we just need one more one more scourge beast and soup I'm talking about. I'm the herbivore. So we need the blight soup for extra crit damage. Significant boost. Again we have Scourge Beast level 75. Hopefully there are scourge that can give us stacks of adrenaline. That's one. Where are your friends, Scourge? They are somewhere hiding in this forest. The beauty of this gun, I can just fire randomly. Hoping to get some kills. As long as one projectile sli slightly touches them, the dot will finish the job. So I don't need to worry too much. 60% already. Okay, Scourge, we fire, aim. It was a reload, so I'm not sure if the aim part worked but we'll see maybe it did will it die so close so close slightly low the reload so as you can tell i'm capable of slightly messing up something every time so we say bye bye to this scourge it is possible though it's possible you can one shot a scourge beast with blooded cremator if you do a critical plus this crazy amount of dot and yes dot will display on the pip boy the extra damage from aiming if you aim and then quickly open a pip boy it will be a brief second that you can see it but you can that's because servers has this lag so the dot kicks in about a second after you start aiming and then expire about a second after you stop aiming. This is the magic of Dot. What do you think? 
Are you a big fan of damage over time effect in Fallout 76 right now? I definitely am. I have a lot of fun and I do hope this information about all the gimmicks of mechanic of dot in Fallout 76 that is indeed different than in other games will help you out. And that being said, thank you lots for watching and see you all in the next one.